I'm not even gonna do... I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the f what the hell happened. Pardon me. I'm I'm a little upsetty, spaghetti. I don't know what the fuck happened. Somebody fucked with my settings. Anyway, welcome to the comic corner. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're like super late, way later than I wanted to be. We're still around seven o'clock though, so like I won't beat myself up too much for the time thing, but. I guess all my, like, settings or whatever, OBS just didn't save or something like that. I don't know, man. But the microphone wasn't working, but the desktop audio was. So, like, these, these cool Christmas beats that I've got going on, which are really nice. And I had this whole, whole thing set up. Just not, just not happening, I guess. So, you know, that's fine. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully we didn't lose anybody. That's gonna be sad. I probably lost so many people. So many people were like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to tune in tonight, and... I've had to start the stream, end the stream, start the stream, end the stream, like, four times, and then we figured out how to fix all this. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> well, welcome to the Comic Corner. I'm your host, Jesse. I usually don't start the show freaking out like this, uh, so I really apologize. But welcome to the Comic Corner, welcome to this broadcast. I hope you guys had a pretty cool day. I had a pretty okay day. I had a... I had a pretty okay day, yeah. Uh, definitely an okay day. Um... We recording? Are we... oh god. 12.14. Okay, if I refresh, that better be... Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna trust it and say that yeah it's recording okay I'm sorry I'm so tense now that's just ruined my whole mojo wow 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 that was spooky <laughs> anyway uh yeah so I had a pretty cool day um I did some cleaning you know I, I did a little did a little bit of like cleaning sorting I finished wrapping Christmas presents um I don't know, uh, no, probably nobody has me on TikTok, I, I, not a lot of people know I have TikTok, but if anybody has me on TikTok, then you've, you've seen what my, my theme for my presents this year are, so, you know, it was super fun, it was super fun to do that stuff, um, Jeepers, what's today, the 14th? So in about, supposedly, in 10 days, oh, excuse me, my Riddler suit is gonna be here for doing my Riddler cosplay. Which is going to be super cool. I can't wait to do that. It's going to be super fun. I've got most of it all set up. I just need to um, I need to make the tie clip with the question mark. And then I'm all set to go. Because, you know, I've still got that red hair. I've covered it up tonight, though, because um, I, try I got out of the shower. And I was like, I don't feel like doing my hair today. And it gets ruined by the headset anyway. So, you know, I didn't figure it, it made much sense. Hopefully I'm not too loud to you guys. I am the usual setting but i don't know obs might have fucked everything again who knows we're gonna try there maybe a little up yeah there we go that seems to be fine okay anyway <laughs> see i had a pretty cool day i did all that stuff uh that was it sadly oh no that wasn't it that wasn't it at all um well it was pretty much it actually <laughs> I did a lot of stuff, and then I'm like, no, you did way more, but no, no, not really. Didn't do a lot. Didn't do a, a whole lot of stuff today. Today was pretty just relax and chill kind of day. Because yesterday I felt like shit. My, I had, like, back pains and neck shit and all this stuff. Oh my god, it was rough. But yeah, so today's the 14th of December, which means next Monday would be the 21st, and the Monday after that is the 28th. So the 21st, I don't know what my plans are because um, the way we do Christmas is like 25th and 24th and 25th are like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. We're not, you know, we're not saying that doesn't happen. It's just when we have like, I don't know, our celebration for that stuff, I guess, or whatever, we sometimes just shift the day around because when, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's just about when family can show up and, and when we are together and things like that. Um, so there's not so much stress about being on that those either of those two days. It doesn't matter. It's just, you know, 
Um, it's whenever is convenient for the people that are joining us for Christmas or whatever. Um, but if it's the 21st next week, there might be a chance I'm not tuning in. I don't know. I really don't know. It's... It's fairly likely that next Monday I'm not going to be doing a Comic Corner. Because that will be, um... Most likely when we celebrate Christmas with, um... People coming over to the house and things like that. And we do gifts and stuff. Um... So I figured that, you know, with that on the mind and stuff like that, um, today we could we could look at, like, the one holiday-themed comic book that I have, and, and it's a spectacular Spider-Man book, so, you know, that's pretty cool. I dig this, this shading and stuff so much. Oh, oh God. Anyway, um, and then I've also got this uh, New Titans book, Special Crisis crossover. I don't know what that means but uh but it is a thing so we've you know got new teen titans and then we've got spectacular spider-man um and then we're gonna do some minecraft a bit later and you know we're gonna we're gonna do just we're just gonna chill and we're gonna vibe and we're gonna hang out and be good buddies <laughs> but yeah um trying to think about stuff what did i do today they cleaning, I gift wrapping. Finished all that stuff up. Oh, I um I rewatched the new Child's Play movie. The the one with Mark Hamill in it. It's the twenty nineteen movie or whatever. God, I've got an itch. One second. See this hat? Like I love this hat so much. I love this hat so much. But this hat causes a lot of problems. It it's a bit big. <laughs> And I never know how to properly wear it or anything like that. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit big. And for some reason, I've I I for some reason I just bought a bunch of flat cap hats or whatever for a while. And I think I'm gonna stop that because I don't think I look good in them. I don't think they fit me very well. I think I'm just gonna go back to normal like hats, like normal hats, you know, um, like my Activision one. And I think that's the only other one that I've worn on. Here. But I've got these, I've got this flat cap, and then I've got my Nintendo flat cap, or whatever. Oh god. I'm just, tonight's just the night of having issues, I guess. I've got itches, I've got eyelashes falling out, and, and technical errors with my mic, and my reading camera. <sighs> just like Christmas, just stressed out. Anyway, yeah, so I, I thought, you know... I was gonna do this super cool thing. I was like, if it was like about 20 minutes ago now, but I was like, hmm, it would be cool since this is gonna be like the last stream for a little bit. We could do it like 15 minutes early or whatever and just hang out. But but no. But no. I bought this hoodie the other day. It's this flash hoodie, super fucking dope. I saw it in the store. I was shopping with uh, my brother, and I saw it and I was like, hmm put you on hold, I'm gonna buy that. Because <laughs> um, I want to get more DC stuff to balance out the amount of Spider-Man and Marvel and Avengers and shit like, clothes that I have. Um, so I've got this and I've got a Batman shirt. I think that's it, sadly. I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, like, do I have an Aquaman shirt, or do I just want an Aquaman shirt? And I think it's I want an Aquaman shirt. You know, Jason Momoa Aquaman, of course. But, but yeah, but yeah. You might notice this little, this new addition here. So these are, the. this is the stack of comic books that we have not read yet. Um, it's the rest of my entire collection, all there. And believe it or not, like I was saying before, like... 80% of of it is Spider-Man books. Whether that's like what ifs or like crossovers or, or anything like that or just normal like plain issues of Spider-Man. They're mostly Spider-Man books. <laughs> and then there's some like Secret Wars and like a couple indie books or whatever that are thrown in there and included in that pile. Throw back to my very first Comic Corner stream when I was talking about 
titties and stuff and boobies um and that issue of last man on earth is on, in here so who knows maybe we'll get to that maybe around valentine's day i don't know it, dep it depends like I, I i told i described it pretty much exactly what happens in that stream but like the opening scene of that of that book is is two people banging two people knocking boots you know two people g turning into grease monkeys i don't know that's a gross way to describe that i take it back <laughs> but yeah um yeah but yeah I, I guess i guess someone messed with all my settings or whatever so i don't have my on-screen keyboard anymore either which is what i use whenever i'm checking my feed here for like uh movie news or anything in the middle of us streaming or whatever in the middle of us hanging out just to you know give conversation starters and stuff like that but someone reset a bunch of stuff so now i don't have my on-screen keyboard ready to go and all my settings were messed up i'm gonna stop bitching about it it's not a big deal it's not a big deal and it's not my computer at the end of the day i just use it most of the time like it's it's not a big deal Oh, good golly. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. I know because I might not get a chance to say it next week, so I'm going to say it now. Happy holidays. Um, I hope everybody's family and, and everything is doing super good. I'm just throwing out all that love to you guys because I really do care. I really hope that everybody is having like a good wintry season like a good holiday season um i say happy holidays because like it doesn't matter if you celebrate <laughs> this that or nothing at all i'm just wishing you well man just wishing you well i'm not gonna get into that that big talk oh <sighs> chest feels so heavy right now anyway <laughs> that's the metal version it's only metal for that one part though Ooh. sorry i thought i spotted something out of the corner of my eye and it was a little spooky but it, w it was nothing it was just a lens flare james cameron you in here <laughs> I can't shit on him. He, he makes pretty movies. Um. Oh God, what happened since last week? I'm because I don't know if if anybody even pays attention, but uh, in the channel description of the of the Twitch, it says that we talk about movies, shows, and updates on those things. But I never really get a chance to because for a good chunk of time, believe it or not, there was no updates on anything. That was really relevant and worth bringing up on stream. But since last week, all the Marvel Disney Plus shows were like, yep, here's a trailer. <laughs> and then they announced a bunch of new ones. And I was just so blown away because I went to bed and then I woke up the next morning and just everything, everything was there. WandaVision's coming out in January. So fucking hyped for that. So hyped for that. I was saying last time, me and my friend Cody are just so fucking hyped for that show, and and that new trailer, it uh, it definitely should have gotten everybody hyped for that show because it's so fucking cool. <gasps> Someone asked me, uh, because it was last week that we did the teaser for Stupid Spider-Man, right? Yeah, it was last week. Somebody la asked me last week because in there's a frame or whatever in that teaser that uh. Wanda and Vision are married and they're walking off or whatever. So somebody was like, does it tie into the... No, no, it doesn't. No, it does not. It's not meant to do anything like that. It's just... That's just a story from the... From, like, Marvel history that I was like, I'll throw that in there as a as a little thing or whatever. Just to give as an excuse as to why you don't see Wanda or Vision on the news. Scarlet Witch or Vision on the news. Well, Spider-Man and... And Gwen Stacy are just hanging out and, you know, fucking playing Among Us on their phones or whatever. Anyway. 
that's all that was there for. Same with um, same with Iron Man being there. Like it's it's. Your debit, your oh, favorite band. your debit, your favorite band, your ride, your perfect night, your way. Thanks so much for interrupting my beats. All right. Anyway, so Spend Spider-Man takes place as its own, in its own like reality. So nobody has to worry about. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, that was on there weird. This is a different kind of. Oh, my stomach went. Cool. Um, that's a different kind of seal. Wow. Cause usually it's just a stick of tape or whatever on these things, but on the sleeves. But nope. It was just a fucking type of glue on there. That was weird. Anyway, Spectacular Spider-Man issue 173 of February. Guess who dropped by for the holidays? I'll give you five guesses. It's MJ. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, man. If I remember right, I did not buy this one myself. This one was one that I, I got for a Christmas gift one year. So, shout out to whoever got me this, and I'm terribly sorry. I don't remember who did, but... uh. <laughs> Anyway. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah. So Spend a Spider-Man takes place in its own own little thingy. So nobody has to worry about continuity or anything like that. Just as long as you're if you care, as long as you watch it episode by episode in the order that it comes out, then you should be fine timeline wise. Most of the time. Um But yeah. I guess that Cause this is the, uh, the comic corner was a uh, uh, was brought up as a way to just chill and vibe and, and read my comic collection and stuff like that um, and just because like I had time in between working on stupid Spider-Man episodes but it was also meant to be um, kind of like how we announced the last couple times that I've streamed it's also meant to be as like a, a not to sound super like money baggy or anything like that or, or sellout ish, but it's also meant to be um, like a cross platform commercial for anything on Area 667. So like if if I just got done editing a Blaze video, like we'd talk a ton about Blaze or whatever in that in that stream. Or if I was doing stuff on Spider Spider-Man that day, I'd talk about that and that would get hype about that. Right. Um, it's meant to be like a like a cross promo kind of thing. I don't know. While being its own fun time. Because I do. I love hanging out with you guys. It's super fun. Um, getting to read comics and just hang out together. There we go. Okay. But, um, but yeah, Comic Corner is meant to just also be a place where I can just chat to you guys and, and talk about stuff dealing with stupendous spider-man and stuff dealing with blaze and, and other stuff that is on the channel so i guess today since i just talked about it the other like t like two minutes ago or whatever um about how stupendous spider-man is set in its own thing because i i've been asked this question a couple times and uh the answer is yes they're they're, they're it was super ambitious and it's super like it's too much but um yes the the plan was as soon as the first season of stupendous spider-man was done to come out with uh two spin-offs or whatever that were also set in the stupendous verse as as it's called and as you can find on instagram i'm trying to f let me see if i can find the stupendous verse thing on instagram if you guys want to follow it, I recommend it. it. We post fun stuff there once in a while. It's literally just all the stuff that wouldn't be in an episode of Stupendous Spider-Man or whatever. It doesn't get covered in Stupendous Spider-Man. Or sometimes it's updates on Stupendous Spider-Man. Um, it's all stuff about what happens in the Stupendous verse, but you wouldn't see it in a Stupendous Spider-Man episode. So, like, Galactus like is one that we did. And we did like a fun little short and uh, I showed off the art or whatever or the design for what Galactus looks like in this defense verse. 
Uh, so yeah, if you want to, on Instagram, it's Stupendoverse. So S-T-U-P-E-N-D-O-V-E-R-S-E. -E -E, all one word, no capitalizations. Just look that up on Instagram. Give us a follow. It's fun. Uh, the profile picture is like... <laughs> is uh what deadpool looks like and spendiverse style that's super cool anyway because again like i said after the so the initial plan was after the first season of um stupendous spider-man came out we we're gonna do two spin-offs and one was um a show called strange tales i don't know we might still do this one i think it's gonna be a while before it happens if it does but um it was it was a show called strange tales and it was going to be done in the same episodic video style that stupendous spider-man was but it was going to be like uh, Doctor Strange Adventures. And I maybe we'll read those. Maybe we'll read those sometime since I doubt it's ever going to get made into a show um, the way Stupendous Spider-Man is being made into a show. Um, but again, I'm not I'm not jinxing it. I'm just saying it. it's very unlikely because of how big and everything it was. But yeah, maybe we'll read those sometime on, on Comic Corner. Kind of like how we would read Stupendous Spider-Man scripts. Um, but yeah, so that was the one. It was Strange Tales. It was going to be like a bunch of Doctor Strange adventures and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it past that in case we do end up just reading through that episodically. Um, and then the other thing was uh, a story called Deadpool Dirty Harry. Just, Just... I don't know why we settled on the name Dirty Harry, but it was just cool. It was a cool name and everything like that. It was, um, well, I know why we settled on the name because there's a famous story called, um, Deadpool, Good, Bad, and the Ugly, which is an old Western. And Dirty Harry is also an old Western. I'm pretty sure they both have Clint Eastwood in them. I know for a fact Dirty Harry has Clint Eastwood. I, and I should, I'm gonna hit myself if if I'm being like, oh, does Clint, is Clint Eastwood in Good, Bad, and the Ugly? I'm pretty sure he's in Good, Bad, and the Ugly. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, so we settled on the title Dirty, ha Dirty Harry um, because of that, because it was, it was a reference to that or whatever. Um, and it was meant to never end it was meant to be like a, a monthly updated comic it wasn't going to be a show it was going to be a comic and it was going to go up on instagram and it was going to be like an instagram comic or whatever that you see on instagram if you follow any comic pages that uh post issues or whatever on instagram it was meant to be like that but uh we couldn't Sorry, there was a weird phone. Okay. Um, we didn't want to go through with it because, again, kind of like Strange Tales, we just, we didn't want to give it attention. We didn't want to give ambitious attention to something and get ourselves hyped up and and forget about Stupendous Spider-Man before we got through with it. So we had to finish Stupendous Spider-Man first before we started anything else. And we wanted to see how people's reaction it was before we did anything else um but i don't know we we might still do deadpool dirty harry because it's it's fairly simple it's just it's just a web comic taking place in the same universe it's a lot it it's where you get most of your world building i feel like uh because stupendous spider-man is very like centered on just that one chunk of of the stupendiverse whereas dirty harry deadpool dirty harry just goes across everything um, and Strange Tales settled on, like, the Doctor Strange chunk of everything or whatever. But there, there you go. The, the plan, the plan for this Dependiverse was to, to be those three things, see how it worked out, and then maybe expand it from there. I don't know what I would have expanded it to. I guess we could talk about that right now. I guess we could scheme up a, a few ideas. Um... I don't know what else it would have expanded to. Hmm. It's weird that I'm... Because the reason why I'm like, hmm, what would I have done right now is because I legit have never thought about it. I 
And I don't know what I can and can't say because of spoilers for any of the any of those three things. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. All right. One okay, one thing that for sure we wanted to have happen was we wanted to do a uh, after Deadpool Dirty Harry had gotten pretty far in its thing and Spend of Spider-Man was over. Like, the whole thing was done. All episodes that we have planned and, and everything for it were finished. We got to the final episode that we would be like, yep, this is where the show would end. No more anything from it. This is like the end of the story that we wanted to tell with it. We wanted to do like a... Um, like a Ferris Bueller's Day Off, like Breakfast Club kind of, uh, like teen vacation kind of movie. I don't know, like an '80s teen vacation movie. We wanted to do that, um, and we were gonna we were gonna cross Deadpool, Dirty Harry with Stupendous Spider-Man, and it was gonna be like a hint at the college years of what Stupendous Spider-Man would have been. Because Spider Spider-Man is going to just take place in, like, the final two years of high school. So, like, the year before grad year, and then grad year, and then Spider Spider-Man would be over or whatever. And uh, this Spider-Man Deadpool road trip movie would have given, oh my god, the bay. What's the bay? I don't fucking care. The Bay has a boring commercial. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so this this Spider-Man Deadpool crossover movie would have hinted towards that. But it also would have just been a fun, like, um, road trip, summer vacation adventure. Where the whole premise uh, is just Deadpool tries to, like, get Peter Parker to be more relaxed. to Because to, in Deadpool's eyes, um, Peter Parker is becoming more of like a like an uptight stiff or whatever because he's going to uh empire state university and to be like a science major or whatever the fuck you know just just what you'd expect peter parker to be doing in a high-end fucking university so deadpool would take him on this road trip to just like take him to his first strip club and like all this other shit and it was going to be super fun um and my my really good buddy Colin Kenny. Jesus, I my brain is super messed up. I'm going to read the name because I know if I read it, then my brain will be like, you can't mess it up with other words now. Oh, where is he? Okay, Colin Keddy. Fuck's sake. This is why I don't watch South Park. I get Keddy and Kenny mixed up all the damn time. Colin Keddy, he's a really good friend of mine. Uh, knew him since I moved here, basically. <laughs> since I moved schools, I knew Colin. And he was just a chill fucking dude. And his favorite superhero ever was uh, Deadpool. So I always wanted to give him... Oh, okay. Sorry, one second. Anyway, I always wanted to give him an opportunity to, to be the voice of Deadpool. And this would have been that opportunity where I where you'd uh he'd have, he'd have gotten that chance to do it. And it would have been it would have been basically what uh our first times hanging out would have been like. But <laughs> personified by Spider-Man and Deadpool. It was gonna be super fun. I just I suck at writing things to fit time restraint so i never knew my comfort zone of how long it would have been for a for a movie and i feel like it only would have been like a like a, a 45 minute movie at maximum just a, a 45 minute at maximum like short film or whatever short animated movie and it would have been in the style of stupendous spider-man and, and animatic style and stuff like that but I just, I, I 
we didn't get to really write much other than the premise of it and like a, a handful of like cool scenes that we thought would be awesome if it did get to go anywhere um there's that conquering this game will take centuries what is that i'm sorry destiny of the emperor i think what destiny of an emperor okay i was like what the fuck okay um anyway so that's that's something that i would have liked to see in instapendiverse if we get to that point ever ever um something else it's not a big spoiler but like in so we wrote this arc in deadpool dirty harry because again the point of deadpool dirty harry was going to be it was like a once a month like you know updated frequently web comic where just stuff happens um it was a continuing like comic line or whatever but there'd be arcs and different events and stories and, and big deals and, and things like that different chapters and stuff in this big long drawn out uh webcomic for deadpool so there was this arc in deadpool dirty harry where you you basically have deadpool uh going around reuniting the x-men because what you end up finding out is um the X-Men disassembled, basically. I'm not going to say anything other than that. The, the, the X-Men disassembled. And one of the arcs in Deadpool Dirty Harry was about Deadpool going on this adventure. And along the way, he slowly reassembles and, dis and finds out where these X-Men members had been hiding. Hiding out and stuff. Oh, excuse me. Um... So that would have been kind of cool. I'd, I'd love to see that happen. That's something that I definitely... D Dirty Harry was just a cool, fun thing. So I'd, I'd love to see if that even... If that even happens. <laughs> but that's entirely depending on, again, how people react to spend a, spend a Spider-Man. And if anybody wants to see that. Um, but yeah, there's something that you end up finding out in that arc that uh i would have again there were plans to make this short movie animatic movie short move this short film about this like key moment in the stupendiverse's history um and it was going to be the phoenix saga basically if for for anybody who who does know what that means You'd be getting hype, kinda, or whatever. If you like any of the Stupendiverse stuff, you'd be like, "Whoa, that happened!" <laughs> um, but for anybody who doesn't know, that's that's when um, Jean Grey becomes Dark Phoenix and she lashes out. They've made two X Men movies, both bad, but they've made two X Men movies about it. So I'm sure anybody knows by now what that means. But it was going to be the Stupendiverse's take on that, so it was like way different than the movie versions. And a, and a little bit different than the uh, original story, but like updated and tweaked to fit everything. But that was a thing that was was gonna happen, and it was gonna. In a really, I'm gonna admit it was a little dumb, but in a in a kind of a cool way, it was gonna end basically with uh, Jean Grey becoming a member of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, and just being this like space hobo that just uh, wandered throughout the universe, staying away from Earth while she tried to train herself on her Phoenix powers. Because what it was going to end with the uh, it was going to end with the whole thing where it's like, did Jean like? Because in the original comics, what happens is um, Jean, Jean Grey blows herself up using the Phoenix Force. So when the Stupendiverse version of the of the Phoenix Saga movie, we were going to leave it on the question, well, did she blow herself up? Or, or, you know, maybe she is dead, maybe she isn't dead. And you find her being this space hobo or whatever, 
jumping from uh, system to system, just prom like vowing to never return to Earth until she can get the Phoenix Force under control. Uh, so that was a thing that was gonna we were gonna lead into. Again, it was it was kind of dumb, and I'm thinking about it now, and I'm like, nah, that really wouldn't have been cool. But it kind of would. It was it's kind of cool because I don't think that's ever been done before. It was a cool idea. Uh, what else? There's literally a folder on my on my desk called the trash bin. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but there's literally this folder where we just had like a we had a writer's room one day, and instead of writing, we were just like, man, what what else could we add to this? Like, how big could the universe get? And we just spitballed all these ideas or whatever, and it was super fun. It was cool. <laughs> famous <gasps> guys want to become famous by followers primes and viewers mm. Mm. let's check them out let's just see what it's like five dollars for a thousand followers <laughs> jesus christ you don't even know what I'm, like, they assume that this is on Twitch. What the fuck? I fucking... Most of accounts have avatars. Jesus fucking Christ. If you guys could see the shit closing that, my fucking god. I hate that shit. Oh, sub, sub bots, basically. Just selling ya, just selling ya subscribers. But yeah, the Stupendiverse was was j just gonna be this super big, expansive thing. <laughs> well, it is this super big, expansive thing, but we just we didn't want to do anything with it until. The first season of Stupendous <laughs> until the first season of Stupendous Spider-Man came out, because we didn't know how people would react to it. I mean, you know, we don't know how people will react to it. Hopefully, people like it. Hopefully, people like it. It's fun. It's fun. Top of my mouth is kind of dry. <laughs>
awesome. That doesn't happen a lot. Peter Parker losing his cool. starting the stream oh my god a taste of nova scotia dot ca no dot com that's weird it should be dot ca fake canadians um before starting the stream my dad was like don't don't push yourself if you if you just start to get tired just cut it cut early i think we'll be okay i think we'll be okay it's eight o'clock right now so well it's not eight o'clock right now but it's uh, 7.42 p.m. We, we try to go for that three hours, you know? We try to go for that three hours. My head is getting itchy, though. Oh, I hate this shit. Still trying to get that setup moved. Moved so that I can use um my more preferred microphone. This fucking thing still annoys me. This shit hurts my brain. And it's not like I'm I'm listening to anything. I literally am wearing this headset just to have the microphone on. But yeah, I'm, I'm still working on moving the setup up to my room where I have my microphone that I do my voice acting and everything with. And I could actually just use my ears to, to listen to stuff that I'm not listening to because I don't listen to anything. I'm not listening to anything other than these cool Christmas beats, these lo-fi Christmas beats. Plus, if we move this setup if we move comic corner to upstairs um it opens up the variety of things we could do so we could do that drawing stream finally we could do we could do gaming but like more gaming so like um like i've got my nes and my super nintendo and my genesis and stuff like that all upstairs on my other other computer so we could do that, like we could we get a fun and do that sometime <laughs> instead of doing just Minecraft, which is really sad because I don't want to do just Minecraft, but Minecraft's fun, so you know. It's also just pretty much the only game that's on this computer. Like I, I don't know, I'm gonna check, but I'm pretty sure it's like thing. There's Ark, but I don't like playing Ark. <laughs> like there's not a lot. Here, let me just... There we go. Okay. There's Ark. We got Overwatch, which, again, I'm not too crazy about. Diablo 3. I used to be a big Diablo. I used to be big on Diablo. And then we've got the Battle.net app, but, like, it's not my account. Like, most of these things are, are not my account. But, yeah, if we just... If we moved... If we moved uh, up to the upstairs comic corner, we we moved from this comic corner to the upstairs comic corner, and made that our next permanent, like that our permanent spot. We just have more variety of things to do, hang out and stuff. <laughs> to 
tomorrow I'm getting to see my girlfriend, which is going to be cool. We're going to go see the, we're going to go to the movies, but I don't know what we're going to see. So, you know, I'm not going to say no, you know, like, I'm not going to say no to date night. Happy, happy wife, happy life, even though I'm, we're not married. Philosophy still applies, you know. They just don't have a rhyme for woman yet. Happy woman. That's it. That's, you know, there is. That's it. <laughs> just happy woman. Oh, man. Um, but I'm not going to say no date night. I, you know. I'm not going to say anything because it's not my place to say. But life is a bit tough right now and we don't get to see each other as much as we'd like to but that's okay um something you know what so i am like the i'm i don't want to get into it right now but i am the like i feel like the the leading person because of my past experiences and stuff on being able to say like a lot of people these days are uh, only able to do long distance because of the the travel restrictions and the, the the distancing and things like that so they're stuck having to do long distance relationships or long distance dating or even if they were already dating they're stuck having to do long distance relationships now and there's nothing it's nobody's fault it's really not um it's entirely just the state of the world that we're in right now and if you're lucky enough to be close enough to each other like me and becca are where it's only a 15 minute drive away it still costs a lot at the end to to do those drives but you know those visits and those moments together are worth it in the end so but if you're not l fortunate enough to have that a lot of relationships get very testy in times like these where um the relationship is put to the test like is it entirely about being physically in front of each other what what do you require as a person and what do you what are your needs what what is your yeah, just what is your needs? Like, you know, that gets tested in times like this. And like we say, uh, like I said, I'm like the leading, I'd say I'm the leading person on knowing how that can be. Not really. I've only had, I technically only had one long distance relationship and it was fucking, it was retarded. I was, it was just my rebellious year. I had my one year where I got to be a rebellious fucking kid and hate my parents and all that shit. Here's a, here's a, here's the thing, kids hate their parents for for one year and then it, it's done. Like sometimes it goes way longer, but like it always caps out at about a year most of the time. So parents don't worry about that. That's just kids trying to be fucking stupid. It it comes and it goes. But um anyway, so it really upsets me when people go. People get upset at people being like, I, "The distance killed us, and I can't do, and I can't do the relationship anymore." I'm, I get mad at the people who are like, "That's so stupid," but no, as a person who is highly reliant on, um, like being hugged, is such a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's such a, you know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's such a, like, a fulfilling feeling to just know that, like, there's another human there and they care about you. And you're not worthless. And you're not fucking crazy. And you're not making things up. And you, you know, you deserve to be loved and supported by a, a person who isn't obligated to do that. And that's nothing against family or anything like that, which is what I mean by that. So, you know, it's just...
so yeah, I get I get upset at uh, at people during times like this, and they get mad at um, their boyfriend or their girlfriend or, or whoever the whoever the significant other was, who was like, my needs are not being fulfilled. I'm sorry, but we're on break or, or breaking up or, or whatever. And I, I get upset at the person who's like, that's stupid. Why, like, you couldn't just wait a little longer? It's not always that easy. Auto shutdown! Shutdown disabled, boys. Alright. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you know, some... It's always so easy for people to be like, well, you could have done that. And, you, you know, why can't you do this? And blah, 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 blah when you're not in that situation of course you have the um the pleasure of hindsight you know and sometimes it is st stupid reasons to end the relationship over things like that sometimes it is really stupid when my needs aren't being met or aren't being met like maybe you need to reassess your needs then sometimes sometimes that's how that is sometimes but yeah Twitch said, chat, you said this? You said, you said they'd be there? Just like Twitch said. Wow. Something else I want to do? I want to do the, the Wii games. <laughs> you know, like bowling or tennis and shit. Not, not the, uh, maybe not the resort. Maybe later. But, uh, I, I definitely want to, I don't know. I want to do, uh. We at some point like we sports because that's that shit's so fun i haven't played that in so long almost four years now i think i haven't played that shit the last time i played it was um at this party <laughs> where i got a bit drunk uh i got a bit tipsy and we we so like just try and just try and picture just try and picture a group of about like 20 to 30 uh 16 17 year olds <laughs> hanging out in our our friend's basement playing we we bowling and everyone just all at the same time like no matter what they were doing like if they were chatting if they were busy like making out or whatever in the corner like some people did um if they were busy toking up and laying down on the on the on the futon or if they were playing the game all of us at the same time all went turkey because someone got a turkey in bowling <laughs> so that was my last experience with it and then we went out in the middle of the night played a game of basketball i sobered up immediately and then uh and then i went home what what a great night! What a great story, Jesse! Wow. All right, are we? That it? Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the. That's the end of this book. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. New Teen Titans. As opposed to the old ones. Fifty special. That's nice. Okay. How many? Jesus. DC, you and your fucking thick books. Like, what the fuck? The fuck? How many pages is this shit? They deceive you into thinking that it's like a normal sized fucking comic book. But it's like a billion pages of thick, dense, inked paper. Fuck. God 
Damn, this is a huge book. <gasps> oh, the DC Superpowers toys. These were fucking dope. I never had any. Always wanted them. They're so fucking cool. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, yeah, we're gonna read this book. No matter how long it takes us. No matter how long it takes us, no matter how long it is. Oh, man. Oh, these were such cool fucking toys. I always wanted them. Damn. I always wanted a Superman and a Flash. Because the Flash's cool thing was you'd, you'd squeeze his arms. This is the Flash. So you'd squeeze his arms or whatever. And his feet would act like they were running. <laughs> it's it sounds really stupid, but um, it was super fucking cool. And the Superman, you'd squeeze his legs and he'd go, he'd give a Superman punch. It was super fucking cool. Ah, oh, they they were super fucking cool toys. And I always wanted them, but uh, I think the only way I'd be able to get them now is if I went on eBay. And I'm not big on eBay these days because uh foreign material let's just you know let's foreign materials from other parts of the world bit spooky right now hmm You know what needs to happen? They... So kind of like how they are, um, they're bringing back the cast and they're, and they're animating new episodes of X-Men the Animated Series. They need to do that for the Teen Titans show, I feel like. I know there's a big cry for that and they just have never answered that call from the fan base or, or anybody really. But now that X-Men is doing it, like, Teen Titans really needs to. Because... There's, I feel like there's way more of an uproar wanting uh, Teen Titans to come back and continue than there is for X-Men the Animated Series, you know? Um, but that needs to happen. <sighs> Young Justice came back, so I can't say Young Justice 2. Young Justice came back strong, so I can't, I really can't say Young Justice needs to do a thing, too. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Oh my fucking god, I need to update this overlay so bad. When we really think about it, the only amount of my face that's needed is like over here. So this whole thing over there, just get chopped off. Yep. Maybe when we move to the media with later the other the other corner when we move to the next corner the next comic corner that's when we'll we'll bring out the new overlay i tried working on it today and i just couldn't get anywhere because i was like you know <laughs> Ah. <sighs> 
Oh yeah, I'm wearing my Deadpool jammies. We might not even Minecraft tonight. My head is really... I'm, I'm drifting off into, like, daydreaming. Which is not good, and I'm very sorry. I should be more respectful to you guys. I almost consider bringing on... Uh... I guess here's the thing. So I used to have this hobby where I'd make, like, cardboard... Uh, like cities and stuff like that so like I, I had a cardboard town at one point going and it was just like little you know cardboard houses and, and cardboard people and cardboard cars and things like that and uh <laughs> and i'd paint them or i'd i'd use sharpie or whatever they were the 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 aesthetic was like minimal detail so like if a kid did it but it was a full-sized like not to scale but it was um it was a full-sized like town or city or whatever you ever see micro machines micro machines it was kind of the vibe i went for but they were you know bigger obviously and i almost considered bringing that hobby back and doing it live with you guys maybe we will sometime that kind of sounds fun actually it's just we definitely have to move to the new setup if i did that because i don't want to ruin my mom's desk with how dirty that could get um, all the fucking paper shavings and the and the dust and shit from cardboard and everything that could happen. So why? Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna go on Amazon. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna look at how many of these cameras I can buy because they're good cameras. Great for streaming, all that stuff. Buy again. Going on Amazon. Here we go. Hmm. Let me see if I can get anything cheaper than that. Not really. Uh, I don't know. Because the so the thing is, I need one of these cameras I don't own, the face cam, this one right here. I don't own that one. I bought the reading cam. I borrow the uh, the face cam. Uh. Oh God, my nose. real sniffly for some reason wow anyway um i need another one of those cams because if i move up i want to have the face cam still and i want to have a reading cam still so Man. i heard it at work the other night anyway um so yeah i need i need that i need I might need another cam too if we end up doing if we end up doing that definitely gonna need another camera and I'm gonna need a couple USB extension cables but that should be it I just need to figure out moving to that setup basically um, and yeah I need to buy another I need to buy another camera for doing the reading cam before we can move to the new comic corner. But it is happening. It's, it's gonna happen. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Glubgrafoots? That's this fucking thing's language? Oh, fuck. Fuck off, he's gross. No. 
Fuck off. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Don't ever fucking come near me. God damn. My apologies for the la- Fuck that thing. That thing's scary. Fuck you. Oh, it fucking keeps looking at me. Fucking piece of shit. <sighs> Fuck it. Out of the corner of my eye, it keeps fucking showing up. God fucking damn. If I had duct tape, I straight up, like, would tape over that fucking thing right now. It's fucking scary! I need to look at anime titty or something like that to calm myself down. <sighs> Starfire, save me now. There we go. Boobs. Done. Saved. Instantly, I feel better. telling Becca about this gross fucking troll goblin who showed up on a Reese's Pieces ad. I might. I'm very sorry, guys, if that's what's gonna end up happening here. If I end up just not doing Minecraft tonight, I'm gonna feel really shitty about it, but it might happen. Might be a hour shorter than usual stream. Just cause, like I said, I'm my head's kind of feeling a little funky. But I'm gonna push through it. I'm gonna do my best for you guys. Why is this page so hard to turn over? What the fuck? Somebody bent it? I don't know. Bonk. Bonk. Fuck is bonk? Oh, bonkers. Okay. It's like a fruit coming. I did not just say that. I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, a fruit gummy.
Fucking god, what is with this? Paper won't stay down. Still thinking about that goddamn Reese's Pieces troll. <laughs> it's fucking gross, okay? Nasty fucking ugly motherfucker. Fuck him. Fuck him. Ruining my night like this. I knew I had bad mo fucking mojo. And then that thing showed up. Fucking prick. I don't know what this book's deal with its pages is, but they won't stay down. <laughs>
camera. Mm. Starting to get a little hungry right now, I'm not gonna lie. I miss working at Applewoods so much. I know today's Monday and I wouldn't be working there per se. But I miss eating the food there so bad. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I miss the, like... I miss the onion rings so bad. Mmm, I miss the onion rings so bad. <laughs> Best fucking onion rings ever, dude. God damn. Who fucked this book? I don't know who fucked this book, but, like, homie... This wasn't the thing to do. There were other things that you could have done at this time. And th th the book was not the one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's definitely... I'm definitely, like, craving the onion rings. And, uh... The ribs. The ribs they had. The ribs were pretty fucking bomb. go upstairs and I'll make myself a fucking PB and J or something because yeah I'm starting to get hungry how many pages left uh, one two three four five six seven. okay I got this gift from oh my god you got this gift uh, really wow oh my gosh so that's so amazing fuck off fucking ads you know the reason why DC books are fucking thick like this, I think? I think it's because they legit, like, have next to no ads. It's just that Reese's Pieces one and that, uh... Well, no, I guess they have the normal amount of ads. Never mind. They have nowhere near as many uh, ads as a fucking Marvel book, though, I guess. Because, like, with this, it's, like, every four pages or whatever. Like... One, two, and there's there's a fucking ad. One, two, and well, nope, that's not even. There's an ad. That's an ad. Like there's just more ads in Marvel books, I think. And a lot of the times it's ads for like other Marvel things. But there are there's just more ads in a Marvel comic than 
there is in a DC one, which I think is why they're so dense, because they do get ads, but they give them their own whole page. So, yeah, I think that's what it is. I always liked, uh, I like both of them. I like both companies, obviously. I already stated that. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I've always liked, though, how DC, like old DC comics, um, and maybe some modern ones. I haven't really read a lot of modern ones other than, like, the cool stories that notice that pop up every now and then, like White Knight and things like that. But I always have liked how DC books, because, um, like, with a Marvel book, you get this like border like you get a good you got this much away from the edge of a page no matter what it is how much it jumps off the panel or anything like that it there's always this border with DC books that doesn't apply all the time so yeah there's this border on this page but on this page there's no such thing as the border and you know these books have always done that and i like that that they use the space of the page it's, it's kind of cool and it leads to the blown up like proportions that you can see the drawings and, and the art and stuff way better and things like that or maybe i'm just shit talking or maybe i'm just fucking blowing smoke up their ass but i don't know i just always thought it was kind of cool it's a easy way to distinguish the two styles from each other Transformer, Grimlock, Soundwave, my two boys, my two boys, okay, here we go, oh, here we go, Beast Boy as fucking Hawk, right there,
<sighs> oh god damn I am getting sleepy boys I am getting sleepy I do I need nap I think god damn I'm just literally like playing with my face on the. <laughs> Ooh, alrighty. Slowly floating down.
fucking hate cats. You get hair everywhere. When you when you live with cats, ha hair just go goes everywhere. Rip these rats. <laughs> crisis okay. hmm. crisis on earths okay cool awesome well that was a fun book to read what are we looking at for time right now 135 trying to really think about what we could what we could do to make it go for a little bit longer but I don't know if we can I don't know if I have any more steam in my engine I'm running on fumes right now I know it feels weird <coughs> that's why my nose felt weird all right well I guess this is where we're going to end it. We're going to end it super early, and I'm so, so sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I think I'm out of steam for tonight. Again, I'm very, very sorry about that. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed your time here. If you do, be sure to follow me on Twitch, or if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, comment, like. Let me know if you have any suggestions for stories or things or anything comic-wise that you want me to cover here on the Comic Corner. Or if you have any ideas for games or things that we could do here on Comic Corner. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it, really. I hope you guys have a super awesome night. I'm going to miss you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. I don't know when that will be, but I will see you again soon. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Be good people. Later days.